Hello, I am Patricia McNeely. I am an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you to everybody for subscribing. I really appreciate it when you subscribe. Uh, today I want to talk to you about my most recent webinar. This is the one that a lot of you have been not only waiting for, but asking about. A lot of the questions that you've been asking are packed into this webinar. Now, some of you who've seen my videos, you know that I put out videos that are sometimes very lengthy. They're about 30 minutes. I pack even more information into my webinar. But I wish to say to you, it is more than information. It is looping you in. It is actually has the ability to elevate you. Every single one of my webinars builds on the other. You can go back and revisit them. Once you purchase them, you always have them to access. There are exercises in there to make it really easy for you to clear and maintain. There are ways to hold your love bubble. And there are also some things that are very meditative. They're not meditations. They are meditative in the sense that it should lead you into the lucid level where you are able to actually affect your own changes. And the reason is, is everybody's twin flame union is different. You're not all Palladians. You're not all Syrians. You're not all here um, identifying from just one place. However, you're all going to one place. You're all going to fifth dimensional earth. And the how you get there, your journey, the many of the ways have already been paved. And it's up to you to clear and get as free as possible so that you can pull and be in as deep a union as possible. And it gets deeper and deeper. So to get started, the title of my brand new webinar is called The Entire Rainbow Spectrum of the Rays and the Blu-ray Purpose. The Blu-ray Purpose is sort of a subtitle. Many people have wondered if they're Blu-rays or what color ray you are from. I talk about all of the colors in here, the purpose of the colors. I talk about being a Blu-ray. Now, Blu-rays have special unions. There are people who have actually one of the highest agreements possible, one of the highest level agreements possible, and it's referred to as a rod and staff union. So the rod and the staff are, think of um, music, where you have the lines, those are the staves or the staff, and the twirly thing, the treble or the bass, of, you know, where do the notes go? Where's the harmony? All right. Except these are actually your bodies. So I talk about that in there. I talk about the rod and the staff unions. I talk about the purpose of each color ray and our unique children everywhere. Now, I want to show you a couple of things to kind of uh, bring home the points of what I'm saying. This is a painting. This is a painting that my son painted, believe it or not, when he was three. And I've had this hanging on the wall. I framed it. It's just tempera paints. It's just watercolor, nothing fancy. But we gave it a name. It's called Endless Rainbow. And this hangs in one of my rooms. So what is it about the rainbow? What's on this end? It is the indigo. It is the red passion. It's everything in between. What happens when you compress that? You get the white, you get the platinum, you get the silver, you get the beautiful rainbow shimmery white that is um, here it shines. And this is just one illustration. So when I'm talking about the entire rainbow spectrum, nobody is excluded. It doesn't matter what color you identify with. You are bringing something to the table. You're important. Your union is important. Being in love in your union is important because you need every single color 
it's not just one color. Or maybe it should seem like this, where the blue is on the top and you know, you've got all of the other colors here. So this is, this is a rather simplistic explanation. However, uh, some of the other things to talk about that I do touch on in here in much more detail. And I'm going to get my world map here. All right, so I've got the map. And let me just tack. I'm going to tack this down a minute on both ends. Okay. All right. And I've got, that's a little lopsided. I'm sorry, bear with me here. All right, so to get started, um, since, I last, since I last presented the world map here, um, I've spoken to several other people. Let me bring this in a bit closer so you can see. All right, I've spoken to several other people and, whoops. I set the pen here. All right, I've spoken to several other people and uh, this was in session. Some people wrote me. You don't have to write me. I do know you exist. However, if you do write me, I do appreciate it. Please don't feel the need to uh, write me because I do become aware of things on other levels and through other sources. But just to uh, give you an idea, um, we have had some people in and around Arkansas, Oklahoma, Montana, of course, um, there is Alaska, and New Zealand. Many of you who do watch me are from New Zealand, and there is Tahiti, Hawaii. I have also had someone who is in, from Bolivia. All right, and someone who was in, um, the other person was actually f from an area that's um, close here to Guyana, one of the islands. People in the islands, Dominican Republic, Cuba, Jamaica, all right. And we're, we're getting somewhere with this because I don't actually speak to everyone. But when I do speak to people who are in different countries, it paints the global picture of what's happening. And there was someone uh, not just in South Africa, but someone who was also uh, located in um, Sierra Leone. There was someone who was located in... Kenya, okay, someone whose twin was in Somalia, someone whose twin was also in Cameroon, and many people become aware of their twin a lot of times through dreams, but there are actual physical ways that people become aware of their twin. Sometimes the twin is sent for education to another country. It could be London, it could be the United States. I've also had some people in this area here, Malaysia, Singapore, Jakarta, the Philippines, Manila. Um, I have not had anyone in Papua New Guinea, Mongolia, Shanghai, uh, someone who was uh, connected to Beijing and India. I promised I would put this person, um, Bangalore, and also uh, Mumbai. It, so you've got both ends. You've got the southern part, both sides, and some of these countries are very large. Uh, someone in uh, Istanbul and Turkey, uh, someone in Moldova, which is over, uh, that's actually over here. 
And as you can see, um, there's also someone who was uh, from Tehran originally in Iran, someone from Pakistan. So this has been since my last map. As you can see, there's clusters. The clusters of twin flames will be most significant in the populated areas. And again, I don't speak every language. I don't speak to everyone. Now, to talk about the rod and staff, I want to give you a little bit of an example. Because the rod and staff union being such a high-level agreement, and again, yes, you're two people intended to live here as a physical couple, physically living together. That is, yes, the intention. It's always the intention. We came here with that intention. You were born with that intention. You also have your fifth dimensional, fifth, ninth, 11th, 12th, and source level agreements. You are one of the couples connected to source, and so you will have all of those connections. But what happens when you're in two different countries? For example, there was a, um, let me see here. There was uh, someone who is uh, from Bolivia. Oh, let me show you this. This is my illustration. This is a compass. This is for, you know, making uh, lines on a map, sometimes for measuring. Um, this is used in uh, the Navy, in maritime uses. It's used for maps. So this, what I want to let you know is each of you are a point on the map. Up here is your union. This is where you are one. This is where you're making love. So if you have someone who, for example, one of you is in Cuba and the other one is in New York, okay, let's do it this way. One of you is in Cuba and New York, and then what happens when your high energies pull up? You pull up and you pull together. Or some other people, one of you is has a connection to Jamaica and the other one is in Canada. And the same pulling up. So your union is uplifting these places. Okay, you're pulling everything up. You're pulling it up. You're pulling it up. What's going on over here in Australia? Now, some of you know about that big giant rock in the center of Australia called the Uluru Rock or the Ayers Rock. And yes, it's got crystals in it. It does. It's a big, giant crystal. And yet, as you can see, I don't really, I haven't really talked to anyone there. People are on the outer parts. They're on the coasts. And that's not to say that it isn't. However, some of the people, if you have a union where one of you is on one end and one is on the other and you're pulling up, you're pulling up what once was in a sacred area. This was a sacred area. It still is sacred. However, it's, ener it's old energies. Your twin union is actually the brand new sacred. You are the sacred. You're going to be feeling your divinity in your union. Some other examples. Uh, I'm looking for, I'm sorry, I'm looking for Ghana here. Ah, here's Ghana. Okay, this was a this was a really great one. The young man who I spoke to, who was actually in Ghana. Ghana is here on the east coast of Africa, and his twin flame very much feels from Somalia. Now, incidentally, I was um, seeing an article. I happen to see things that just are significant about Somalian expats, uh, Eritrea, Somalia, who live in California. So there's sometimes these kind of connections. Now he happened to live on the other end of the continent. And this thing is, um, there, there we go. There, do you see, do you see how that is? Let me um, put this pen down. So you have a couple that one's on one end and one's on the other, and they 
pull together and they pull together and they pull up. So this is my illustration to let you know what I'm referring to when I talk about certain unions. That yes, they have agreements here to meet each other. They have high level agreements many times. And it is taking a while to orchestrate this. Everything is significantly in place. And um, this young man in Ghana had done quite a bit of work. And you're all, every one of you who've done quite a bit of work is to be applauded because it is significant. All right, so when we talk about the blue ray, the blue ray is actually a ray of energy. You split into in duality, this is where you separate into two bodies, but you're the same ray of energy that is in, and you're getting rid of your significant differences and coming, to, pulling your heart together. So another point that I talk about in here is our unique children everywhere. And I had a really good example of this um, on a show called Dancing with the Stars. There is a young lady on there called Bindi Irwin. She's an Australian. Her dad was the crocodile hunter, Steve Irwin. And he's been dead for several years. She's a young lady now. She's no longer a baby or child. And she is doing excellent. And she's receiving such high level uh, marks in this dancing competition and yet she's evoking the emotions from people she's able to pull that out and the comments have been fabulous but what struck me really was her uniqueness and how shining so many of the children of the twin flames are and even though her dad's not here i'm sure he's helping her from above because that is a part of what we do as divine parents, we're able to help orchestrate things for our own children to take away the fears and so forth. And the children themselves will be healing. It will be in the things that they want, that they receive. For example, my own son, he was on fire to get some sort of Burj Khalifa. He wanted to go to Dubai in the worst way. Well, this was our compromise. This was a gift to him. And it's a Lego version of the Burj Khalifa. And he just loved this. And he put it together and it still stands in his room. This is the box for it. And this is, this is part of how he's healing some of his long ago and far away angelic lineage is by loving the place, loving the new that's there, loving the new energies, feeling it. And in turn, your children will actually have ways that they are releasing things very easily, sometimes in a day, in three days. They do, the children of twin flames do not take the length of time that adults do. It's easier for them to not only let go, but release it from their bodies. So we talk about the children in there. And one of, another thing to really know is uh, one thing that comes through readings, and I do pick up on this because of who I am, because of the high-level gifts that I not only have opened, but honed and gotten very skilled at. And that is that, for a lot of you, your twin is checking you out. Because as things happen in their lives, many times they will also seek information. It's not always research. Uh, there may be somebody that they're talking to about what's going on with them. And that person needs to be able to read you. And when you do have some of your knowledge about who you are, I find that this is very uh, much a relief for people when they absolutely know, yes, they're an angel. No, they're not crazy. They are this. And how do you know? How do you know? Well, I'm presenting the information in here about all of the color rays because the color rays are going to feel significant to you, only you. 
you're going to feel what color you are. If you don't know, some of the descriptions that are in here will help you uh, define it because you feel it for yourself. While in many ways there is no hierarchy and there's no real reason to know, and in all honesty, who wouldn't rather be kissing their twin flame? However, some of you do need uh, confirmations because this is going to keep you steady. It will um, resonate with your heart. And the very questions that you've been asking about, you know, and what do you do with it? What does it mean anyway? What are you helping with? What is your purpose? I get that question a lot. What's my purpose? Uh, what's my mission? I talk about that as well in there. I talk about the rod and staff. This is actually, uh, from one perspective, could be considered a mission. This is a very high-level mission. However, it's not accomplished by putting on a cape and you know grabbing a, a sword. It is by surrendering into it, by sinking into it, by allowing it, by receiving it, by agreeing to it, and by getting rid of each and every wall, obstacle, speed bump, everything, every weed uh, that you possibly can. And this is, this is in my webinar of some of the how do you do it. My webinar and... All of my webinars answer questions that uh, a lot of people ask. Patricia, what do I do if my twin is sleeping with someone else? Patricia, what do I do if my twin is still in a marriage? Patricia, what do I do with this karma? Patricia, what's my mission? What's my purpose? What can I be doing with my gifts? How do I get my abundant flow going? What is, uh, why is my twin still having issues? How do the, the real question should be, how do I help my twin get rid of those issues so it's a non-issue anymore? How do we get it gone? That's what you need to be asking. Not butting your head against the wall saying, why this, why that, you know, what, you know, they're just like this. I'm going to say this right here and right now. Uh, there are people out there who would rather turn a blind eye to their twin and go help 10 other people because it's too difficult to do the internal work. But I say this to you, try one of my webinars because I have ways to make it as effortless as possible. And that which you think may be impossible, that's not how we roll. That is not what Blu-rays do. We perform miracles. You perform miracles. You make the impossible possible. You are the ones that with your love keep saying to yourself, but my twin is this golden shining being. And you get out your polishing cloth and you keep polishing and polishing and polishing. And a lot of that is packed into my webinars. This is the value in it. So you have actually the benefit of several months worth of um, sessions, my own guidance, um, much of the things that are uh, found out by trial and error that I have already gone through, and it's packed into a very concise format. It's uh, very user-friendly. I'll do anything to uh, try and make it as easy for you as possible. And yes, there is this effect that happens with you where you feel uplifted and I want you to feel empowered. That's the key. It's your power within. It's the power of your heart. It's the power of your love to become and to live your purpose, which is to be in love. Your purpose is not just, well, I met this person and they enlivened me and I'm enlightened now and now I and you don't know what to do and you're looking around and asking and you're saying why isn't you know why aren't my bills paid or why can't I do this or why why do these things keep happening get yourself empowered get yourself reconnected that is what I talk about in here reconnecting it's it's more of reconnecting your own cosmic sacred heart I'm gonna write that down Cos oh geez, here I go with the pens again. 
cosmic sacred heart All right, that is the part that you share with your twin everywhere you go. It will always be with you. And yes, this is a very fine balancing act of being in and focusing on your union and being near other people. There are a lot of um, mental beliefs and differences and you're peeling away from the old, you're peeling away from the collective and that's significant. You need to be able to do that because your union needs it. And I'm going to say one more thing. I had a reminder of how we need each other. How, yes, even when you're in union, you will have friends. You'll have people you'll meet. You might have people you help. You'll have other people that you'll have fun relationships with. Your union is your union. Everything else outside of it is a relationship. And that is one of the differences about being in a 5D union and holding your 5D union and your 5D love. How do you hold your love right here? Okay. And I got this uh, from a friend I worked with years ago. And it was just thinking of you. And this actually brought me to tears because I was in one of these times of isolation where I needed to keep some spaces, needed to get some of this done. I was making quiet spaces for myself so I could work on my material. And it came in the mail. And... It just told me everything right there. We all think of each other. We all miss each other. Your twin sometimes doesn't even know that they're missing you. It's that deep sometimes. Clear the stuff out so they can feel you. This is all about feeling. Why do people do the stuff that they do? Because they want to feel something. But what you really want to feel is feel in love. And some people are there. And some people, it's still a work in progress. So thank you so much in advance to everyone who buys my webinar. The link is below. The link is on my website, which is www.twinflamesmerge.com. It's going to be available. There are several exercises in it. I really encourage you to try it. It is a very cost effective. It's uh, very much a lot of information for less than what a session would cost. So consider that, and I hope you get it. I hope you enjoy it, and I know it will help you. Thank you so much. Bye.